Made in Hollywood. In the drama The Wife, Glenn Close examines what she's given and what she's given up in order to help create a Nobel Prize winning novelist. Hi, I'm Glenn Close. Here's a scene from The Wife. Next time I introduce you, try a little eye contact. And next time, don't refer to me as your son, the half-baked writer. You shouldn't need my approval to write. Everyone needs approval, Joe. When I first read the script, I, I knew that it was a very complex story we were going to have to tell. I suppose I was worried how we were going to make it credible that this relationship existed for so long. Hello. Am I speaking to Mr. Gosselman? I'd like my wife to get on the extension. Hello, I'm on. It is my great honor to tell you, Mr. Castleman, that you have been chosen to receive the Nobel Prize in Literature. We started from the beginning, as an actor should, with the characters that they play, um, and we went far back and we, you know, just wanted to do this correctly. So we went deep to see exactly what makes Joan, you know, Joan. And then it's also what's happening when you shoot the scene, because it's acting is acting and reacting. Mm -hmm. So what's happening between you and Harry Lloyd, the play, the young Yusuf Kasterman, was also created the atmosphere of the flashbacks in mm -hmm. a very interesting way. That's very good. I see I'm going to have to watch out for you. <laughs> I could be quite a handful, Professor. Annie had to basically establish the character and establish the kind of key elements that would then you know, have a seamless presence in that character for 40 years. Welcome to Stockholm. We are so delighted to have you here. I came across some of your stories in the College Journal, beautifully written. Joe had a very heavy hand as a teacher. Did he encourage you to keep writing? As relentless as he is, uh, I kind of admired his willingness to, um, he is certainly the mosquito kind of buzzing around in this poor man's ear. And I think he's having an issue with this discovery that he's made and talking to somebody who is not comfortable with being in the spotlight. She's an introvert. She's a fierce observer of the world, of, the, of her environment, especially of the human condition. I think that she lives for her craft, writing. It's like breathing. And, you know, in pursuing that craft and that love, as sometimes we all do, you know, you make certain sacrifices and compromises that turn into other sacrifices and compromises. My wife doesn't write, thank God. Otherwise, I'd suffer permanent writer's lock. <laughs> Don't ever think that you can get their approval. Who's? The men. The ones who decide who gets to be taken seriously. A writer has to write. A writer has to be read, honey. What's interesting is that the director has a, a theater background. So we were able to play, but within the boundaries and constructs of the scene and, and as it was written. And I think that he comes from that brilliant Bergman school where you you cast something and then you trust your actors. And when I'm working with somebody like Glenn, my main goal and objective was, you know, just don't mess up. I think you are sick and tired of Joe Castleman. I would like to convey to you the warm congratulations of the Swedish Academy. And Joe is a man who has an enormous ego and has numerous affairs, but the film shows you perhaps why he had those affairs and why he, he felt a need to find approval outside of marriage. And there are a lot of questions I had to answer for myself before I could really, really you know, inhabit her, commit to her. And the main question was, why doesn't she leave him? And in answering that question, I really, I really, I think, found her and found my part in the relationship. Tell me about yourself. Do you have an occupation? I do. And what is that? I am a kingmaker. 